All right, so we're going to start texturing a full body and we're going to do this with very few tools. I'm going to set my project and I'm going to go to file open and I'm going to open our full body human and here we go. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to check for UVs. So if I select the guy right here and I go to my UV editor and I hit F, notice that there are no UVs. So the way that we're going to attack this is that we are going to use planar mapping and we're going to work with body parts. We're not going to do the entire body. We will project UVs on both the hands and the arms. Then we are going to flatten the arm and the hands and then we're going to sew them together. Now before I start, what I tend to do is I assigned a UV texture through the hypershade and here's my UV texture right here. I'm going to zoom in and all it is is a simple blend shader. For the color I've attached a UV pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it by holding my middle mouse button and dragging it onto the mesh. If we hit 4 we're in wireframe. If we hit 5 we are in shaded mode but with no textures. And if I hit 6 we have the textures assigned. Now the reason why we don't see any textures is because we don't have any UVs. We have the texture assigned as you can see right here but no UVs. So I'm going to start with the head and I right mouse button and select faces. I will select a group of faces and then by holding shift and control I will add more selections and to expand my selections, I'm going to hold shift and the greater than or period key and I will expand my selection. Now, under the UV menu, I'm going to go to planar mapping and I'm going to select, as you can see in my three quarter view right here, the bottom left hand corner, I'm going to select my Z axis. I'm going to leave everything else the way it is and I'm going to hit project. And now if I hit six, notice that we see our texture. We don't see the texture in the rest of the body because no UVs have been assigned to those faces. So the very basic concept of planar mapping is the following. You project your UVs in one of the planes. In this case, I use the Z plane. And then you cut the UVs. Let me go to number five so I can select these better. I'm going to right mouse button and go to edges. And think of this as a mask. So what I need to do is I need to split that mask right here by selecting the edges. I'm going to select the first edge and then shift double click on the next edge so I get a direct selection and now I can go to the bottom hold the shift key and double click I'm gonna see where my texture ends it ends right there and I'm gonna go to the separate the UVs along the selected edge as soon as I hit that I've created a cut on my pseudo mask now there is a button right here below the grid called toggle the display of textures borders for the active mesh. If I select this, notice that the border edges, we're referring to, in this case, the edge of a shell. And I've created a shell right here. And by selecting this button, the edges of my shell are now thicker and to increase the thickness of these lines, I can go to display, polygons, custom polygons display. And under edges, I can select my texture borders. And I can increase this by six. I can hit apply. And notice that now my line has gotten thicker. So we have cut the mask. And now what we need to do is we need to flatten this projection. All right, I just turned on the wireframe so you can see this better. And I'm going to select my UVs right now. And we are going to go to polygons and unfold. We're going to go to edit reset. 
and we are going to use the unfold engine. This is the new algorithm that Maya is using. And under solver and options, we're going to leave everything the way it is. I'm just going to switch my map to a 2K map and I'm going to hit apply and close. And as you can see, we get an excellent projection and unfolding. However, here I have an issue. I'm going to see what it is. It looks like these UVs right here are not sewn together. So I'm going to go to vertex, select them, hit F to find. And this is an easy fix. I'm going to select these guys right here. Go to shift, right mouse button, and I'm going to go to merge vertices. And I'm going to do the same thing here by hitting the letter G and then here. And now I can tell that these guys are sewn however we need to move and sew these edges. So I'm going to go to right mouse button, edge, and I'm going to select this edge. And we're going to use the move and sew tool, which is right here, right below the texture menu inside of our UV editor. And when I do that, select an edge, notice that the other edge is selected, hit G. And that's it. We fix our issue. Now if we go here, let me zoom out, F for find. I'm going to hit sick to look at our texture. And other than the top, our projection looks pretty good. There are some issues in the mouth, but we will fix those later. 